cat interviews at uber confluent indeed and many many more companies i have seen it all after countless hours on the other side of the table i know exactly what top companies are looking for especially in nld in this course i'll share the insider blueprints what to focus on especially key design patterns how much multi threading very important counter question traps and how to tackle them confidently this course is structured practical and tailored on what companies are looking for right now let's get you into ready right now so after getting a quick idea of entire structural pattern let's start off with the first one which is adapter design pattern now as the as we saw last time also adapter is basically connecting things which cannot be connected for example we took the example of usb in the last lecture you know macbook usb c usb b board let's take a more you know design specific example for example you have a smart home system now obviously you want to build a centralized app now the catch here is that air conditioner can be connected via bluetooth your smart lights can be connected via wifi coffee machines via zigbee again for the folks who don't know basically it's a kind of low powered wireless communication protocol your secure devices may be let's say some custom apis so you see that connectivity and again i'm not saying that it is very important okay a conditioner will be from bluetooth only no in future it can change and maybe i'm just you know i'll remove it and maybe uh, i can have some something else maybe some wifi or you know maybe some other custom apis so the thing is that the connectivity might change in future and obviously if let's say right now let's say okay let's go back to 1980s we used to connect via wire and let's say we used to have a remote but then as we evolved now we need to connect via some wifi so i'll just at, i'll attach another wifi adapter on the end of my this thing you know of my this ac wire and then i can communicate via wifi you know this is exactly how you build the wifi in general in real life as well you bring the internet up to your uh, wifi router and then you connect with that wifi router because this is your router it's, it's nothing but adapter with the pole outside cool so now you know that uh, obviously every device comes up with different ma manufacturers and you cannot control that i cannot control what i can you know i want inside my apple macbook i cannot control that right that is given by macbook itself if i want to attach a usb b port which means you know if i want to at attach a mouse and that mouse has a usb b port i want to make sure that i can insert that into my macbook so i will buy an adapter and then i will insert usb b into that adapter and then usb uh, adapters end into my macbook so that's the reason like i cannot control what will come inside my macbook and again this is a very important fact that i cannot control and thus whenever the thing is built up so whenever my macbook is built up after that to attach other things i am using my adapter again i am repeating it is very important i will reference that later on when i will discuss something i will not spoil but yeah i'll discuss something so okay now obviously i know that every every device can communicate very differently so that's the biggest problem that i need to have a unique communication protocol and again if i hard code this thing i'm screwed up because hard coding things will make it messy difficult to maintain and difficult to scale as well so your task here is to make something scale clean scalable and maintainable and again making sure please get rid of that mess so let's see how mess you would have created if you would have gone a traditional way you know a simple naive way a simple dsa based way okay if i got a uh, ac i'll simply connect that ac via bluetooth although i have not writ written the ac specific classes here but you will see that rather than print statement you will have a ac specific class where you have where you will have a method which will connect to bluetooth inside the ac so yeah just make sure that again we will discuss those classes in future as well you know as we go ahead in the future as well but yeah just an idea i'm giving you right here how a messy code would look like same way if it's a smart light then i can then i'll do a connection with the smart light via wi-fi if it's a coffee machine then via zigbee so you see that firstly you are kind of exposing the underlying implementation here which is one issue although this issue can be resolved by keeping another class for ac and then keeping all the methods of that ac inside that class okay it's still okay so this can be changed but here i don't need adapter as such okay and you might say i have too many appliances here so the, you know if else if else if else condition that's also very bad okay maybe i can handle this also if i keep things separately 
But the biggest issue here is that what if the things change in future? What if that, you know, in Rajasthan, I want that AC should be operable via Bluetooth, but uh, maybe in, you know, um, Delhi, I want it to be uh, operation via phone, uh, so on and so on and so forth. So if the AC, if it's got turned on, I, shall I put up as Bluetooth or shall I put up as a phone? That's the issue. Okay, that's the thing that I will have to firstly, even if I keep a class for it, I will change in that class. And in that class, if I change it, I'm screwed up. So, okay, we got the issues. There were a lot of, lot of issues were there in this code, you know, a lot of issues, but few can be solved by making specific classes. But even if we, if we make the specific classes, we see that if we want that, okay, I can use the same MacBook. If someone don't want to use some port, okay. If someone wants to use HDMI port, if they want to connect to, you know, lab, uh, monitor, then they will use a HDMI adapter. But I want to only use a USB mouse. So I'll at attach a USB adapter, USB B adapter. So that's the beauty that based on the needs, I can extend it. Okay, now let's let's proceed forward. So as I wrote a very bad code, my interviewer asked me that, can you please add a smart speaker and a security camera? I'll say, okay, okay, I'll add it. Uh, and again, I can also ask, like my interview can also ask me that, okay, your, uh, your smart light which you made in the last step, can you switch that from Wi-Fi to maybe a cloud-based API? Obviously, that's the biggest issue which, which you saw, that the code is literally uh, very delicate. Like anything you change, you know, even if you add any specific smart device, or even if you change the method of how it is generated or how it is controlled, entire code needs to be touched. And that's the issue. And also, if I plan, okay, I'll, I'll make a separate class for AC, and then I will make make a separate for like you know separate feature for it. But then, the, but then same issue again comes here that as I told that okay, I have a MacBook, but then I want that okay, it should be connected with the laptop, sorry, uh, monitor, and then maybe USB B keyboard, or maybe you know USB B mouse, or maybe something else like let's say Ethernet. So obviously, like the things, if you keep all these connections inside your MacBook, uh, inside your MacBook class, you are screwed up. You are technically kind of every time any other th functionality can come up. Maybe let's say I want to connect a high speed Ethernet cable. So I will, no matter what, I will touch my MacBook class, which is very bad, right? Anything adds, you are you are you are you are modifying your existing class which is bad. Okay. So obviously it, it, it makes us feel that I will have more bugs and the code is very, very fragile. Okay. Let's see that, uh, how you could have done when you could have made a class. So even if you have, made, if you, even if you had made a class, you would have done something of this sort. Firstly, again, very bad if else condition. Okay. Even if not, then, uh, I can simply say that, uh, I'll have a conditioner. I will, you know, just uh, make that a conditioner initialize the object and then i'll con i'll call that connecting via bluetooth and then start cooling with this my ac is on and it is cooling now now obviously uh what if in future i want to connect via something else i will firstly have to change it everywhere wherever the ac is being called and again i don't control it which means that i want to now create it via wi-fi again change it so you see that changing things ah uh, become messy dirty code big messy very tight coupling yes so a lot of issues here let's see how a adapter pattern will touch this or will help us to resolve the issue now basically adapter pattern it act as a bridge between two incompatible interfaces and basically they allow them to work together seamlessly without modifying their code now as the word itself says bridge don't be confused with the bridge design pattern and that's the reason in the beginning i focused on that adapter pattern is used after an existing interface is formed to make it compatible. Bridge pattern is used beforehand to design flexible extensible systems, right? MacBook, I cannot use a bridge pattern here because MacBook is not something which I am like I am making. Imagine MacBook is made, already made. I want to now use it with my use case, I will use adapter. But if I'm building, you know, anything, let's say if I'm building some, some things. Now I, in the, in that, I'll use a bridge pattern. 
so that I can bridge these things easily and maintain them easily. Cool. So obviously what the bridge will say, bridge will say, okay, earlier you were doing AC, you know, initializing as a new AC object. Now I will use an adapter. So if you remember like the way how you do, if you had a MacBook and then you're connecting something, now you'll connect it via adapter. So I'll just connect it rather than connecting directly. I'll connect it via adapter. Cool. And now let's see how the code will look like. Obviously I will have a smart device interface. Now again, interface, just making, you know, things more clean and uh, man uh, manageable. Now comes the class. Now AC class. Although uh, you might say are in AC is also a smart device. Yes, you can treat it as a smart device. Although you can treat it as a, as a dumb device as well. It's totally up to you. If you, if you want, you can implement that you know, you, you can have an implementation of smart device in the AC as well, just so that you want to have a default behavior of on and off. It's completely fine. You want to keep it or not, but here I want to, I want to primarily focus on my air conditioner adapter. That's the reason I just didn't write it here. But again, I'm saying it's completely fine to write it here as well. You know, implement the smart device interface and then just implement those two methods. Okay. Coming on back, we realize, okay. Air conditioner will have some basic methods. For example, starting cooling, stop cooling, disconnecting Bluetooth. Again, only if you feel like that, okay, you will have some basic features of AC. You can connect it via wire as well, via remote as well, and so on and so forth. Okay. Same way, we will have smart light having the same set of features. Switch on, switch off, you know, smart light, connect to via Wi-Fi, you know, disconnect and all that stuff. Okay. For coffee machine, same way that... Uh, initialize, start brewing, stop brewing, you know, copy, coffee specific features. Now comes the beauty. Beauty is adapter, air conditioner adapter. This will say that bro, uh, now you will accept some adapter inside you and then you can simply call it turn on. Now my smart device is here. So I just have to have to implement a uh, turn on method that will say, okay, from the air conditioner, I can call whatever you require so i can rename this adapter also as air conditioner bluetooth adapter and thus the implementation is connecting via bluetooth i could also say air conditioner wi-fi adapter so it will have its own implementation of wi-fi thus both the people bluetooth adapter as well as wi-fi one can be used simultaneously without even impacting my air conditioner class right and that's the beauty that I can turn on and I can just have it. And so for what happened with this? Firstly, I'm hiding the underlying complexity, which means the person will simply call it a turn on from this air condition adapter. And then he doesn't have to worry about what is underlying. Okay, but this is not the main part for adapter. The main part is that I can change this behavior and I can keep it different as well. Or even if I want to change it, maybe in future I want to, you know, just remove all the Bluetooth, Bluetooth functionality. I can simply remove it. That specific implementation, I can remove it. I can change that as well, or I can make new ones as well. And that is ultimately, I will never touch my AC class. Again, you might say, Aryan, I will still have to add a Wi Fi method onto it. Yes, that is a functionality of AC. So, AC. For example, MacBook. MacBook will obviously come as a functionality of USB-C. Now it's your, your duty to add a adapter for, you know, monitor, which is HDMI adapter or a USB -B adapter. So it's your duty to have it. MacBook will have to come with USB-C. So MacBook will come with a USB-C functionality and a charging port functionality for sure, for sure. Other things, they can adapt to it. Cool. And the same way, Smart Light also does the same thing. I'll get a smart light and then I will have a turn on and a turn off with connecting to Wi-Fi. Same way, I will have a coffee machine as well. Turn on and turn off. Now, let's bring it, bring the things together. I will have an air conditioner. Now, rather than calling directly my air conditioner, I'm calling its adapter. And same way for other appliances as well. All are smart devices. Now, again, as I mentioned, it's easy. Uh, to call the methods on an interface because I know that all these smart devices will have this method. So it's pretty chill. And that is the only reason why, you know, we make corresponding interfaces. Now with that, what you saw that you will have 
स्मार्ट डिवाइसेज एंड कैन बी एयर कंडीशन अडाप्टर और स्मार्ट डिवाइस स्मार्ट अडाप्टर और कॉफी मशीन अडाप्टर ऑब्वियसली दे आर इंटरनली यूजिंग एयर कंडीशनर स्मार्ट लाइटिंग कॉफी मशीन एंड ऑब्वियसली यू हैव दैट स्मार्ट होम कंट्रोलर विच इन विच यू आर काइंड ऑफ मैनेजिंग ऑल दी स्मार्ट डिवाइसेज नाउ ऑब्वियसली यू विल सी द एडवांटेजेस आर प्रिटी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड एंड सिंपल यू हैव अ वेरी सीमलेस इंटीग्रेशन विद एनी न्यू फंक्शनैलिटी और एनी न्यू फीचर विच यू हैव बिकॉज यू आर सिंपली अडेप्टिंग दैट विद द एग्जिस्टिंग वर्स you are not touching the existing ones you are simply bringing the new one and adapting to it cool scalability is insanely high because i can literally attach anything whatsoever and any number of things decoupling is very highly there because now these things are all decoupled from each other flexibility is insanely high because i can you know i'm very flexible to attach anything whatsoever and it can be literally any protocol i can just simply attach attach it as a adapter Obviously, we see a real life use case. We saw the entire smart home system, uh, payment gateway. Although uh, you must, you might get confused on payment strategy, which we have studied. Just ignore again. Just as an example, I have given that payment gateways can also adapt to different type of payment interfaces which we have. Database drivers. Uh, again, as we mentioned, that uh, if if I want to connect with multiple uh, databases, so I can have. and i want some consistent commands to be there so imagine that you have a black box of databases so that is in that beauty of uh, adapter which we can leverage in database drivers as well media players it's a very common example that uh, adapters will allow a single player to support multiple file formats because obviously we know that any player will accept some file format but if it's only accepting you know just mp4 so if even if i have mkv i can just convert that to mp4 via some adapter and that's the beauty i can use my adapter design pattern here you know with some corresponding common interfaces so lastly we know that adapter is something very beautiful and unique and awesome and with that it gives us a more cleaner more maintainable and highly scalable and extensible code i hope you guys liked it make sure that we hit the like target of 250 likes and see you soon then goodbye take care bye bye